What is the relationship between conditions like chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, ADHD, PTSD, autism? Is there some kind of a common link? And is there more chance of conditions like chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia being more common in people with ADHD or autism? What I want to talk about in this video is going to be more upon emerging understanding. The studies are coming through so this is something that might change as we get to understand more. But at this point of time, we need to look upon these conditions as a broad response to threat. If you think about it, most of these conditions, especially chronic pain conditions, are thought to be a response of a hypersensitive nervous and immune system to some form of threat that is perceived in the environment. And in some ways, there is emerging understanding that conditions like autism or ADHD and certainly in PTSD, these are changes that happen in the neural circuits in different parts of the nervous system has a response to some form of threat or a change in the way the immune system is modified maybe because of a microbiome change, so some kind of dietary alteration in childhood or in adulthood. And sometimes it can be a threat response that changes and that stress response can alter the microbiome and that can have a secondary effect on the nervous and immune system. This kind of more integrative approach is now starting to emerge and therefore neurodivergence, meaning conditions like autism and ADHD and Asperger's, we are now understanding that when the nervous system is already starting out being wired differently, then its response to stress and threat is going to be much more worse or different as compared to a normal nervous and immune system, however you define normal. So the research is suggesting that there is a higher presence of chronic pain conditions and even chronic fatigue when you have neurodivergence. And this is not likely to be a cause and effect, but in my view, this is going to be just the way the nervous system has been wired differently. And that sets the stage for a different response to threat. And that is often in the exhibition of chronic pain in manifesting as a form of chronic pain. I hope this is clear. I hope this is helpful to a lot of you asking these questions. So please keep those comments coming. And if that really helps, then I can make more videos on this particular topic. As I said, this is an emerging topic. The science is fascinating. Our understanding of the nervous system is really changing and improving. And we may have a better way to treat such conditions when we understand the root cause that's happening. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you for watching the videos. I hope you're getting value from them. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications on when the next videos are to be released.